The Russian Navy only has one aircraft carrier, and it's a defective piece of shit. The 55,000 ton behemoth is referred to in hushed tones, spoken about in stories that serve to scare young sailors into following the rules, almost like a giant rusted boogeyman. The saying goes, if you misbehave, you'll be sent to the Kuznetsov. The Kuznetsov was built in 1985, and with four deployments under its belt, it's the Russian Navy's flagship. Despite its significance, service aboard the ship is akin to punishment for sailors. Every time the Kuznetsov deploys, deep water tugboats accompany it, because the Russian Navy is well aware that the carrier's defective engines will break down at some point. The fuel and engine issues give the ship a maximum endurance of 45 days. The boilers are also defective. The central heating system is essentially non-existent, so crewmen have to bring their own heaters. Oh, and most of the pipes end up freezing in extreme temperatures. But instead of fixing the broken heating system, they just close half the ship's latrines and stop running water to 60% of the cabins. That means there are only 25 operational latrines for 2,000 crewmen. But considering that the cafeteria only seats 150 people, maybe they don't have to hit the head all that often. Comparatively, the U.S. oldest carrier, the Nimitz, built in 1975, is a nuclear-powered carrier able to house more than 6,500 sailors and have an unlimited endurance time and distance. China, on the other hand, has built a carrier using the same terrible power source as the Kuznetsov. Like, share, and comment below. And maybe not be too concerned about the naval capabilities of Russia and China.